I've always thought of growing your own food as the pinnacle of self-sufficiency. A fine-tuned combination of planning, planting, nurturing, and harvesting. The full cycle of life designed to provide us with sustainable bounty. But there's a gap in that cycle from the harvest to the subsequent planting of the next round of that crop. So some growers like to take it a step further and save their own seeds. For many of our crops, like these little peppers here, collecting seeds is easy. All we do is set some aside to dry at harvest time. That's it. No extra processes, time, or effort on our part is necessary. With carrots, it's a little bit trickier. So today, we'll go over every step necessary to saving your own carrot seeds so that you can produce unlimited future harvests at no extra cost. Most crops like peppers, tomatoes, corn, lettuce, and even these spent peas here, complete their entire life cycle within a single season. These plants, collectively known as annuals, make seed collection both easy and effortless, as it's done almost by default, tagging along with the harvest of the crop. Not so with our carrots here. You see, these guys are what's known as biennial plants, which means in a nutshell, it takes them two years to complete their life cycle. The first year is all about that lush green growth up above and developing that delicious taproot down below. And this is why we love carrots. They're easy to grow, easy to harvest, and most definitely easy to eat. Like we said though, flowering in these guys only happens in the second year. So if we wanted to go through the effort of saving our own carrot seeds, we're in it for two years. Think about that. Not only are we wasting an area by growing carrots and getting no carrots in return, that bed is also preoccupied for a second year as we wait for those seeds to mature. That's a lot of downtime for whatever area you've dedicated to growing carrots just for seeds. Fortunately for us, there's ways to mitigate this which we'll get into in a second. To get those healthy, robust, albeit small carrot seeds, we first need to cultivate healthy, robust carrot plants. Carrots grow best in full sun, in a rich, well-drained neutral soil, free of stones and debris. The seeds are planted ultra shallow, and they often take quite some time to germinate, which is surprising. However, once they do, the little plants are quite vigorous, and given optimal conditions, they're gonna grow pretty quickly. Like a lot of our direct seeded crops, carrots are oversown and then thin soon after sprouting. As such, saving your own seeds can be quite a lucrative and cost-saving endeavor. But if we're pulling up that carrot to eat, how then does the plant go to flower and seed? The answer is, it doesn't. If you're growing carrots for seed, you're gonna lose the harvest as that plant needs to stay in the ground to complete its life cycle. In most cases, sometimes we can get a harvest as well as the seeds from the same crop. And this is one of our tricks to minimizing the space and time cost when you're trying to save carrot seeds. Under normal circumstances, however, carrots are planted in the spring, summer, allowed to grow like they normally would. And then instead of harvested, they're just left in the ground untouched. After a winter chilling period, known as vernalization, the carrot plants are stimulated to go to flower the following summer. Simple process, it just takes a long time with some rather large opportunity costs. So how do we mitigate those costs? Well, in really cold areas, carrot growers will still actually harvest their carrot crops like normal. But instead of all that waste, they'll cut the top part of the tuber off, leaving a little bit on with all the foliage intact. The carrot stumps and greens are then stored in the fridge over winter and then planted the following spring. Amazingly, the carrot plants keep growing, tricked into their second season and flowering as if nothing happened. Full harvest plus the seeds, that's pretty amazing. 
One other way of minimizing some of those opportunity costs of growing carrots for seeds is to plant them really late in the season. You want to be planting these carrot seeds right at the end of summer, after all the crops are harvested and pretty much done anyways. There's enough heat to get those seeds to germinate quickly and get the little plants growing and established. We need to do this before the harshness of winter hits. This method though is best done in milder climates, ones where you can ensure that the carrots will actually survive the harshness of winter. Either method, the end result is hopefully a flowering carrot and eventually viable seeds. So having said that, let's jump ahead to the seed collection with a few notes along the way on how we got there. Carrot flowers are surprisingly showy appendages that appear early to mid-summer of the crop's second year. The flower is botanically known as a compound umbel consisting of many little flowers, upwards of a thousand. So, you don't need many seed carrots because those umbels produce so many seeds. However, you do need a few because you can't count on seed carrots to self-pollinate. Insect pollination is the dominant vector for fertilization of carrot flowers, so plan for at least 10 seed plants to ensure proper pollination. Because of this, however, carrots do cross-pollinate, so don't plant different strains near each other. And try to stay away from hybrid varieties if you want predictable future results. And this goes for wild carrots as well. If the wild variety is flowering anywhere near where you grow, be aware that they can and will cross-pollinate with your garden carrots, rendering their seeds useless. Carrot flowers last for what seems like an eternity. Starting out as exotic looking spiky arrangements of spines and hooks, eventually transforming to an elegant creamy umbrella of flowers. Pollination occurs at the height of aesthetics, turning those pretty flowers a yellowish red or even orange color soon after. Then though, something amazing happens. The flowers begin to fold their edges inwards to form a bird's nest shape. In dry conditions, this allows that flower head to bend outwards for easy seed dispersal. And on the flip side, it actually bends inwards for seed protection during inclement weather. Remarkable. Moving on, the whole head turns brown after a couple of weeks. We take this as a cue to cut those umbels off and finish the drying process indoors. Especially with fall coming, late season rainfalls can soak the seed heads, making storage quite difficult and problematic. Take advantage of those late summer days and harvest those seed heads early. When you're collecting your carrot seed heads, Try to cut off the ones that are roughly the same dryness at the same stage of development. Each head is gonna have up to a thousand seeds on it and you don't really wanna keep carrot seeds longer than three years. So be aware of how many you're collecting overall. Indoors, let the carrot seed head dry for another month or so. Really dry out the whole appendage. As for seed removal, well that can be done in a couple different ways mostly revolving around shaking and agitating those seed heads. Yes, carrot seeds are pretty small, but the bits and bobs of the seed head parts are even smaller, so they're pretty easy to pick out. Take note though, even though carrot seeds are roughly the same size as lettuce seeds, blowing away the chaff is not suggested. The seeds are just too light. Better yet, use a sieve with appropriate size holes or some kind of screen. And don't worry, if everything is dried out properly, you can store the seeds with a bit of debris. It's not going to hurt them. Okay, store the seeds in either paper envelopes, jars, or plastic containers, making sure that you label the variety and the date. Carrot seeds have a shelf life, and viability rates go down every year in which they're stored, more so than most of our other vegetable seeds. You want to know that date you collected them, because you can plan on 20% degradation year over year. Carrots are an amazing crop, one of the all-time backyard greats. And while saving the seeds may be a bit trickier and more involved than some of our other crops, with the amount of seeds you get overall, I still feel like it's a worthwhile endeavor. So, 
Best of luck with saving those carrot seeds, and I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.